If you're anything like me, then you like your fantasy books to have just a little bit of everything. Magic, adventure, dragons, sword fights, fairies, samurai, heck, maybe even the Mothman or a steampunk element or two. It never hurts. My name is Cameron and I'm here to review Alistair Grimm's Auditorium by Gregory Fenero, and I'm happy to report that this book has absolutely all of those things and more. The author sent this signed hardcover copy to me in exchange for an honest review, so I'm going to give you that honest review. My thoughts and opinions on this book are in no way influenced by the fact that the author sent me this copy. I just genuinely love this book. I really, really did. Alistair Grimm's Auditorium is the first book in a middle grade fantasy series published by Disney Hyperion. The story follows a boy named Grubb who is 12 or thereabouts, and Grubb is a chimney sweeper. He is the apprentice of a very, very nasty man who is showing him all of the tricks and trades of chimney sweeping. Greb wishes very much to run away and get away from this life, but he doesn't really know where he would go until finally he stows away in the trunk of a coach of a very mysterious man. From then on, he finds himself in London at this magical place called the Auditorium. It's this big attraction in London that's been sitting there for five years, but nobody really knows anything about it because it hasn't opened in all this time. And nobody's really been inside the Auditorium except for the people who work there except now there's Grub, and they've kind of taken him in inside the auditorium, and he finds out the many mysterious ways in which the auditorium works. From then on, things start getting serious and very adventurous and epic, and I'm, I don't want to say anything more about the plot of the book because I don't want to spoil anything for you, but it is amazing. You, you must read this book. I am mind blown over this thing. Now that I've talked about the plot, um, I can say that it is very original and it is like nothing I have ever read before. It takes all kinds of fantastical elements and combines them into this really amazing heartfelt epic story. And honestly, it's Disney all over the place. I've never read an original story that came so close to resembling that kind of Disney magic that I grew up loving. And it's published by Disney, so it makes sense. The writing is very quick, but it's also very descriptive. It's this classic feel that the writing has that just makes me want to keep reading. And that way, it reminds me of Harry Potter. Now, I'm not saying that this is anything like Harry Potter, it's a completely different story, it's its own thing, it's completely original, but in the way that I was so engrossed in this book and connected to everything that was going on, it reminded me a lot of Harry Potter, and that is a great thing, because Harry Potter really does its job at keeping the reader engrossed in what's happening. The characters in Aleister Grimm's auditorium are also very, very quirky and whimsical, and I loved reading about them. I also really liked Grub, the main character. He's very brave and very caring, as well as very selfless. He will go out of his way to help all those people that he cares about. All of the characters have their own backstories, which makes them feel a lot more human, but they also retain that very bigger than life, whimsical feel that makes them leap off the pages at you. Also, like I was saying, the book has everything. It's got dragons and samurai and sirens and even the Mothman pops up at one point. And a lot of you guys know I am a big fan of the Mothman legend. I'm a big fan of all legends in general, uh, but the Mothman especially. So not only is the plot and the characters and the writing all amazing, but also the book as an object is really beautiful to look at. The cover and the whole book design really sell that magical feel that the entire story has. As you can see on the end pages, there are some amazing illustrations, as well as throughout the book, there are full page illustrations, which are very epic, as well as smaller illustrations scattered throughout. And then when you take off the dust jacket, even more illustrations on the front and back borders. It's just really, really beautiful. I can't get over how well designed this book is. The second book is called Aleister Grimm's Odd Aquaticum, and the cover has been released. I cannot wait to read this book, guys. I'm so excited for it to come out. But until then, you guys could read Alistair Grimm's Auditorium. Seriously, guys, go buy this book. Read it, read it to your kids. Spread this magical story around because I promise you, you're not gonna be disappointed by this book. Now I am praying that this will be turned into a movie. I could totally see this being a Disney film, like directed by Tim Burton, being stop motion animation and being all gothic and wonderful. And I really hope that happens. Please, 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 Tim Burton, make this into a movie. It has so much potential to be a great film. Just do it, please. Thank you all so much for watching this review. If you have read this book, then fire away down in the comments and let me know what you thought about this. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and very happy reading. Goodbye. <laughs>